Um, do you sense that we are back to a fairly fundamental debate and no bad thing for it between the free marketeers and the state control side? Yeah, I think that's very well put. I think that there is a real debate going on right now between between those two different camps. Um, you know, of course, you can cut taxes and just leave, leave the market to its own devices and leave people to their own devices. Um, that's not the way we generally run our country. We provide support for people on lowest incomes, people who have difficulty increasing their income or pensioners, these kind of people. We always provide more support for those people. Um, that's what Rishi Sunak, right from the start, who I support for the leadership contest, is saying we should do. I think inevitably that will be the case because the impact on those households, those lowest income households, will be so severe. It is fair to say that everybody will need some help. And I agree with what the Chancellor said this morning. Even people yeah. uh, seeming on quite high incomes will need help as well. And that's what, again, what has been promised, uh, delivered in the past and what will be delivered in the future, I, fi I believe. But ultimately, the most important support we can provide is to those people who really are already struggling to make ends meet. Sure. And, and I totally agree with you about um, uh, what uh, Nadim said. Uh, and, and if you people want to look at it in more detail, it's in The Telegraph. Uh, and it, it is a significant intervention, but it is elsewhere. Um, earlier in the in the program, we had Julian Jessup on, um, who is an independent uh, economic analyst now, but but is a former Treasury man. He used to work there as as one of the boffins. And I found what was really interesting, and you very honestly just said there, you've supported Rishi all the way through. You and I have talked about it on many occasions. Mm. Julian said what this country needs right now is the best of Rishi economic pitch and the best of Liz's economic pitch, because neither one nor the other is 100 percent right. And when this is all over, bang heads together. That's the job, perhaps, of the new chancellor. But there's good in both. Do you agree with that? Well, actually, I do, to be honest. I mean, I, I think, you know, we should all be willing to learn from each other. Nobody has a monopoly on all the right ideas. So I think we should listen to it to either different viewpoint and indeed the opposition viewpoint. And some of the stuff they come out with is relevant. So, so I think we should be willing to do that. My uh, position on this is most of the problems we are seeing today in our economy are economic problems. So actually having somebody at the helm who's most experienced in, in terms of being in the Treasury, solving the past economic problems, and let's remember we've already put about £1,200 a year into those lowest income households, which completely offset the cost of energy prior to this latest increase in the energy cap. The person there was Rishi Sunak. So he knows the levers to pull. He knows how to pull them in the right directions. And, uh, and I believe he'll deliver that package of support because he's got the experience to do that. It's not just about ideology. It's experience, which I, yeah. I think is absolutely vital right now. OK, and purely for the purposes of balance, I, I, you know, and I will remind folk listening to our conversation uh, that Liz was number two uh, in the Treasury as well. So they both got some experience, but you're absolutely right. Hands on and at the top, most recent Rishi Sunak, you're absolutely right. Which takes me to my final point. During the lockdowns, and I don't want to get into a debate about those because that's <laughs> that's explosive stuff, as, as we all know. But during that lockdown, I talked to a brilliant publican from Liverpool uh, earlier on about how she was facing up to this energy crisis, there was a lot of help, whether it was furlough or loans or the rest of it, to the small business sector. We had a former chair of the Federation of Small Businesses on the programme this morning, Kevin, saying, what about us? If we're not helped on energy prices and input costs, we're going to go broke. That means unemployment. That means catastrophe. Whoever wins has really got to get a grip on the small business sector, as well as you, me and every other citizen. 100%. I mean, I spent 30 years in business prior to coming yeah. into Parliament. I totally agree with that. I'm an SME um, person through and through. Most of the businesses I speak to in my constituency, they're facing energy cost increases of fourfold increases. Bills going from 100,000 a year to 600,000 a year, and they're just not making that much profit. And they're laden with debt because of the crisis. So I don't, again, ultimately, I think we will step in and provide support for SMEs. We absolutely have to. Otherwise, two things will happen. Number one, extra, those businesses will put prices up, which will feed inflation, which is bad. And even worse than that, 
you know, by many, many, many of them will go bust. That's yeah. the reality. They can't afford to carry that extra cost. So, yes, SMEs need help too.